יניב דאור, שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. יניב, we are sitting here in the King David Gallery in the heart of Tel Aviv to discuss with you a rising star in Israeli opera singing, your career, your life. It is no secret that you are related to David Dao, mm -hmm. and we are fully aware of the fact that you have divided your life between Israel and Britain. So may we ask you, Yaniv, how did it all start? Well, after, after finishing my military service, I finished at the same time my, um, my BMAS, B Music, in um, at the Academy, the Jerusalem Academy of Music. And dance. And dance, that's correct. And uh, then afterwards I got a, <laughs> I received a scholarship to go and study abroad. The options were between Basel and London. It was very obvious to me that I would very much like to develop and explore London because it's a much bigger city with much bigger buzz and much larger music scene, which for me was very appealing. Um, one thing led to the other and I went to Britain, I went to the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. I s finished my diploma there and then work started to come. And when work started to come, I started to travel within Europe a lot. So Sweden, Belgium, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Holland, you name it. Um, and the year just passed by. And before I even knew it, it's been 15 years. Unbelievable. And, yeah, absolutely. Time and flies when you are having fun. Absolutely, indeed. And um, it's been a while that I started to miss my native Israel. And that's it was mutual, by the way. We, we have missed <laughs> you. And therefore I decided to um, engage in a new project here in Israel and start to come and sing here in the Opera House and at the same time um, record an album of crossover of Israeli music and establish my ensemble, which includes musicians from Israel, from Sweden, from Germany, from Britain, etc., Um, and I'm here for four months, uh, enjoying every minute of it. Love the sea, love the weather, love the food, love the people. And I'm traveling a lot, and it's, it's great, and I'm very pleased and happy to actually be in Israel and to work in Israel and to develop my center of life here. It is always a great pleasure for every Israeli, I think, to detect, especially in somebody who enjoys such an international reputation and career, uh, this homesickness. Absolutely. It, it comes with birth and it never leaves you. It's always there. <laughs> When it comes to your uh, uh, very quite vast repertoire, I know it's an unfair question, it's always an unfair question, but do you have favorite roles? Do you have favorite composers? You know, it's the Treasure Island question. What would you, what the five CDs or composer you take with me to, to, to enter that island? And my answer for that would be, it's... Most of the music that was written for me is the rock music. And as such, um, I am mainly familiar with Baroque, so I think if I had to go to a desert island, I would take Bach, but not only. Monteverdi, Mahler, Bernstein, and maybe some Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> and since you are an Israeli musician, can you mention, when it comes to Israeli music, some of your favorites? And I'm referring not only to Hebrew, I'm referring also to Ladino. Yeah. Well, it's not many know how much Hebrew music is composed over the centuries of music and music that was associated mainly with Christianity is not necessarily Christian because lots of the texts are coming from the Bible. Um, I'd say, as you mentioned, Ladino is among the more sophisticated and yet very simplistic and down-to-earth Jewish music that is a, is a, is a cultural heritage of, of Israel. Of Jewish people around the world, around the world, um, modern Israeli music is absolutely <coughs> unbelievable. I just came back from Georgia when I composed a piece by Yosef Bardanishvili, and the variety. Tbilisi, the, Georgia. Tbilisi, Georgia. Not Jimmy Carter. No, 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 no. 
the variety, the richness, the music, the, the influences are so unique and so rich. And Berdanashvili indeed is one of our fabulous composers. He's unbelievable, absolutely. I sang a piece called Children of God, composed for me in Arabic, Latin and Hebrew. Wow. And with symphonic orchestra. Wow. And the impact of the text with the musical lines was so immense that as performing it, I was shivering with excitement. It wow. was just so moving. Amazing. Amazing indeed. Yaniv, you are probably one of the best people to ask this question. When you compare Israeli opera life, when you compare Israeli opera with operas all over the world, especially in Europe, Europe. where do we stand? It is growing. It's growing to be a big and important house. Um, they do some wonderful things at the Israeli Opera now, um, which includes big productions such as Carmen, Turandot, Butterfly, eight productions a season at the Israeli Opera House, international singers, international conductors, I'd say as good as European. Well, we just traveled now to Wiesbaden uh, and we performed the modern Israeli piece, Ayelet Cholem, The Child Dreams. Right, by Hanoch Levin and Gil Shochat. By Hanoch composed by Gil Shochat. And the richness of the music and the depth of the text was so unique. And the special events, the summer events in Masada. And Masada now coming out, Carmen. And the fantastic Hannah Munitz. Absolutely, adorable lady, absolutely. I'd say we are on the European level. Wonderful. Wonderful. What can we wish, Yaniv Dao, for the future? For, for quieter mm-hmm. times, with loads and lots of art and joy and just happiness, really. Yaniv, we wish you everything you wish yourself <laughs> and you beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.